Guys, what's happening? It's Matt from Text Choice. We have some Grip Edge products right here that are brand new to us, and we want to show you what it's all about. You guys stay tuned for some new and some old. Thanks for staying tuned through that awesome intro, guys. I'm Matt Sledge. I'm the owner of Text Choice Tools. We live here in Murfreesboro, Tennessee. Connor's actually behind the camera. You can't really see him, but he does have a mic on. So what is Grip Edge? You might ask. Grip, Grip Edge is a brand new company that came out, started late in 2021. They uh, started developing their products seriously in 2022, and they went after the Allen industry. A lot of you guys will call it an Allen wrench, but it's actually called a hex wrench, but a hex wrench is a little bit harder to say than an Allen wrench. Allen wrench is actually a company that was made a long time ago, a company named Allen, but they are just like what we call a string trimmer. It's called a weed eater, but it's not, but anyway, over that kind of garbage, grip edge, invested heavily into the hex key industry and in this little demo block that we have here which we'll do some close-ups and some zoom ins on this right here you'll see that the rounding prevention technology is what rpt stands for they uh, show your standard hex right here your standard hex is just square what it does generally when you put it into a fastener it literally pushes the fastener outward and spreads that open, whereas a RPT actually grabs that fastener and brings it inward. So you will see on a lot of the, uh, a lot of the RPT right here, you'll see how this is kind of cut out right here. So it allows the metal to cut in and grab. And guys, we will throw a demo up here sometime on this video and show you these things working live in action. If you've not followed Grip Edge on their social media platforms, you need to follow them on Instagram, you need to follow them on TikTok, you need to follow them on YouTube because they have some great demo products that are out there and showing you real world scenarios where you guys can actually use this. Okay guys, back to our demo over here. We are working right here on our vise. We stuck the standard Allen in there, but we also have the rounded Allen here. But what I want to, what I want to tell you about is I'm going to use the RPT bit in a standard Allen. If you use this every time from the beginning, you will never have a problem rounding something off. I have an 18 inch gear wrench ratchet hook to this. I just wanna show you the force that I'm gonna be able to put on this. So I'm gonna give this a good old push and a pull and give it quite the mustard. <clears throat> so check it out. It actually broke the actual fastener here, but the bit did not spin inside the fastener. So how do you get this right here off? I guess you slam it off with a hammer or whatnot, but just to show you the power of how good these RPT bits are, they will not round off inside your fastener. I'd love to do that with a regular hex, but we don't have another one of our fittings around here. You guys stay tuned. So let's go over a little bit of what their products are. They have hex key, they have uh, socket extractors, they have Torx bit. They just came out with a brand new item right here. And one of these items I wanna slide over. Well, let's talk about this one right here first. This is the T-handle. So the T-handle is very, very awesome for a lot of you motorcycle guys that might be out there that are working on Harleys or working on the Japanese bikes. So they have the uh, hex key right here with the RPT and the end of it, but they give you an awesome little fastener right here on the end. So you can go in and break that fastener loose and then spin that off by hand. So this is a standard set. We actually have this in Torx bits for you guys that are working on Harley Davidson's, maybe that T27 Derby cover on the side of that is a real stubborn time. I have a Harley myself and Grip Edge actually saved my butt by actually going to the warehouse down here to grab the RPT27 uh, T27 and broke off broke one of the bolts loose that I rounded off with one of my regular sets. Okay I'm gonna set that set right there aside and then I'm gonna slide over into the camera right here the new RPT bit set. Guys this is 134 pieces 94 pieces of this item of this bit set right here are all rpt okay so i want to go over this a little bit slow because we did it fast on a social media time before and we didn't quite properly quite cover it so in this video you'll see a 1.5 all the way up to a 10 millimeter in your hex for your metric then you'll see everything from a uh, t6 in the torx T6 all the way up to a T50. That's very important for the T50 because a T50 is a lot of your seatbelt uh, brackets that are on your car if you're doing interior work and you need to get that out because if you ever strip one of those guys, you are up a wrong creek without a paddle. If you go into the inverted Torx Plus, the inverted Torx Plus, you get right here, you go from a six all the way to a 50 also. 
And guys, I want to mention about the Phillips here. You get a one, two, a three, a four, all of that stuff. And guys, you might be big on Japanese industrial standards. So Japanese industrial JIS is what they call it. Those are actually included in this kit right here too. So uh, step over here to the tamper-proof Torx bit. So tamper-proof Torx is gonna go from, I'm sorry, tamper-proof Allen's or tamper-proof Hex has got a 2.5 all the way to a six millimeter. And then the inverted Torx Plus, <laughs> Torx, is, this is a lot guys. <laughs> Torx Plus is an IPR8 all the way to an IPR50. So a lot of different bits. And then when you get into your tamper-proof Torx, you go T8 all the way to T50 because Connor, like some of the Milwaukee covers are a T10 and they are uh, a real booger to get loose. So one, I'm gonna step off over here back to the standard of the RPT and the Hex Allens. This is a 1 8th, I'm sorry, a 1 16th that goes all the way to a 3 8th. Then you go into your triple squares. So for all you German guys that are out there that are working on Jaguars, maybe Volkswagen, something like that, I do wanna mention that the triple squares are actually RPT technology too. So, um, that's very important that you don't round the fastener off. You guys need to be using this bit right here absolutely every day for your day in and your day out uh, use on the actual, on the actual uh, fastener. So you RV guys that are out there, if you run an RV or you have uh, somebody that built a trailer for you, they generally use a square, what's called a square drive. So in the square drive, they do do the RPT on that also. And they give you a zero, a one, a two, and a three in that. And then you have all your uh, Phillips, your Phillips uh, squares, one, two, three, four, all that good stuff. Now. A guy got on my truck yesterday and he picked this thing right here up and he was actually blown away by the ratcheting technology in this ratcheting screwdriver. I know it's just a ratcheting screwdriver. You can pick them up from Craftsman. You can pick them where, up wherever you want to. But guys, the way this thing right here is so smooth, it's absolutely really, really nice. One, because this right here comes out. You can use this in your T-handle. You can make this an extension, put your bit in there, get into that tight, tight area, crank that loose. Uh, if that doesn't work, you can put this in this end right here, but actually a bit, if you need your screwdriver to be a little bit shorter, I believe one of these bits actually literally fits. Yeah. It fits inside of this right here. I don't think it does. Oh, I thought I saw it. Yeah, no, it fits inside of there too. So if your Craftsman screwdriver doesn't do that, this one will. So one thing I will say about that though, cause I did have a customer that did that. Mm -hmm. You have to make sure the actual fastener that you're using. So if you're using a, like a four millimeter, the four right. millimeter can slip down in there. So has to be a certain size. Has to be a certain size. It's gotta be bigger than the hole or it will get stuck in there. Yeah. Um, but we've had that happen in grip edge. You just gotta get a bag and dig it out. It's if you're right. gonna do that, you might wanna use this little adapter. This is a quarter inch all the way to a hex. So you can uh, put this in your regular ratchet or your Milwaukee ratchet. They actually have a detent ball and this right here also that you can push to break this, to bring this right here apart. So guys, how much is this kit? This kit is $229. You might be like, whoa, that's crazy. That's expensive, but it's $229 and it's 134 pieces. I'm not gonna break the math down. I'm sure someone will correct me if I'm wrong, but it's a little over almost a dollar and a half to $2 a piece. So uh, pick this up from us. This is brand new to Grip Edge. So are the T handles and we will be happy to sell those. These are actually in stock and they're ready to go. So if you're not familiar with Grip Edge, we wanna bring up some of the socket extractors. We'll do a demo, like I said, in the earlier part of this video. The socket extractors are absolutely awesome. If you get into a stud and you can't get that fastener right there off, one great thing about the RPT uh, extractors, the bolt extractors, is once you break that stud off or once you break that nut off, they give you this fancy little device right here to push it off. So there's no need to go over to your vise with a punch and a chisel and a hammer to try to to try to get it all the way out so guys we only have the 3 8 set out here for demo on the deep well and here it is in shallow well but if you want to get this in quarter inch or you want to get it in half went half inch these are listed on our website and you can go to textchoicetools.com to pick up some of these products uh these right here have been selling absolutely very very well for us and we have given you guys a hell of a discount to go to our website and buy it in a bundle I do have the prices on these. Um, so the they roughly 
from the lowest price of the quarter inch sets, the shallow quarter inch sets retails for 139. They do go all the way up to 219 for the 3 8 metric set. And then they also make them in the half inch drive set. And we're only selling those as a combo on our website right now. And the combo is $475 for all of them. Website. For all of for them. All of them. So for the half inch set. Yeah. yeah, that's 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 a really good price. We should be as cheap as anyone or cheaper. So Grip Edge, um, I learned this by a phone call with my main, main man, Jared, because uh, we're close to Grip Edge and uh, we like to support their their business because they've supported us all the way through. And uh, they make this product in about four different names. So guys, you're going to be on the Mack truck and you'll see this listed as a RBRT. So that's where they started with. And then you'll see it on a Macco truck called OptiGrip. And then you'll see it from a company called Proto under a different name right there too. So they're the same people, um, the same people that are making all of them. They're just Grip Edge is who is available to us and Cornwell and most other people out there. So uh, this company, literally a little bit of history about them. They started in a garage about like Jeff Bezos did and they have put thousands and thousands of hours into developing the hex key so they picked one product they wanted to focus on that one product and they didn't want anybody else to have a better product out there other than them and guys they're really showing out right now because this company's not very old and they're really crushing the market they're starting to sell very very well on my truck and as more people have them and more people take advantage of how well they work they are the, the news is spreading uh, so what I have in front of me right here is an impact set and what I have right here is a chrome set But I do want to tell you there is a difference. All right Chrome is what you'll use with your ratchet impact Obviously you'll use with your impact gun or a battery powered ratchet of some kind We met with Dan in Nashville Dan was on our truck He gave us a little bit of knowledge about the grip edge technology. So on the grip edge RPT bit right here on the Allen, the points right here on it are a little bit sharper. Hopefully we can throw up a B-roll right here and we'll be able to tell you what the difference is. But I'm telling you right now that the difference <laughs> is that the impact is a little bit smoother because they know that the impact mechanism is gonna be beating back and forth to extract those Allens. So um, when you do go to buy this, decide which way you're gonna use your tool and decide if you're gonna use an impact or decide if you're gonna use Chrome. You need to be using these tools for your everyday, day in, day out hex. You don't need to use them as an extractor. You need to use them from the minute that you see a hex bit. You need to run straight to your toolbox and grab these. So going over a little bit of the product, if you want impact Torx, we have that right here too. We have the impact hex in standard and we have it in metric. If you guys wanna go all the way up to half inch into super large sizes, this right here is not real common in the industry. You don't see a lot of big 19 millimeters. And that's what we have right here in front of us. I don't believe they go any bigger than 19 millimeter, but you also have the standard right here that goes up to three quarters. So this, is, this was a big feat for them. These are still pretty new to us. Uh, guys, if you need them in deep well, uh, deep well to get in those tight reach areas, this was not offered to grip us as soon as they came out. Mac had them, we did not, but these readily became available. Guys, like I said, the uh, Allens come in impact grade. So they come in all the way up to a 19, and then in your standard, they come all the way up to a three quarter bit in the hex drive and impact. So uh, there is a little bit of a rumor that these are coming up in three quarter. We've heard that rumor and buzz coming around. So all of you heavy duty guys that are out there in the industry, and you're working on equipment where you're working on some really big Allens, you need to stay close attention, pay close attention and stay tuned to Tech's Choice because as soon as those bad boys hit right there, we're gonna have those out. I failed to mention one thing in the video and one of my favorite cases here is the Torx bit set. So this is probably one of my most popular sets. This goes from a T6, okay? T6 is what your pocket knife is that's in the bottom of your pocket right now. A T6 all the way up to a T60. So they have this nice carbon fiber, carbon fiber inlay here in a really nice case. And uh, the Torx, I think I went over it previously in my description about the what the Torx do. They have a little bit of a twist to them. So this is a great set. What is the Torx bit right here sell, sell for, that Connor? That Torx bit set sells for $153 on our website. Yeah, $153. Guys, that's a little bit more than you'd pay for a standard bit, but why not buy the best if you're out there buying a Cadillac? So, And the only other thing we don't have out right now is because we are out of stock here, but we have more on the way are the G-Force. Oh, the G-Force extractors. That comes with the drill bits. But yeah. I'll pop a picture of these. We'll do another video about this, letting y'all know 
and letting y'all see what it's all about. Yeah, GeForce extractors were a really, really, really good seller for us. And guys, we literally have all of this in stock and we enjoy selling Grip Edge as much as, po much as possible. They gave us this banner right here for God's sakes and we wanna support that company. So the way that you can support that company and support us is go straight on over to, web to our website, Text Choice Tools and pick up any of this. If you guys own any Grip Edge, I would love to see a comment or maybe a thumbs up or subscribe to this channel or subscribe to their channel or do it all. And you've all you've covered all bases there. So thank you guys so much for tuning in. I'm sorry we kind of did a quick one here. If you need some grip edge, check us out, textchoicetools.com. Support that company, give us the thumbs up. And we hope you guys have a great day.